Hi guys, it's Jonathan Stevens here, and today I'm comparing Splat Facto from Nerf Studio versus Splat Facto Big, which is their new model for training uh, Gaussian splats, and they're supposed to be a higher quality version. Uh, for this video, again, I just ran everything at default, so I just picked Splat Facto and Splat Facto Big, and there's different things I can do to increase the quality by scaling up and down imagery and changing some other variables. I just want to see what both defaults look like and see if one is noticeably better. The big one should be better, but we'll see. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show a rendering of both of these side by side so you can actually like see A, B, which one is better from a, a rendered video. And then I, I'll split screen it. So hopefully you see like left side, right side and see which one really looks better. And hopefully this informs you on what is the model to use for you and I will go into specifics about training times and things in this video as well. So let's jump into this model that I trained first. That'll be Splat Facto and see how they compare. All right, so this is Splat Facto. This is the Gaussian Splat method that Nerf Studio originally officially posted. And just looking at it, it looks a lot like a Luma AI um, or a Polycam scan, uh, as I'd expect. We got some good details here. You can see them in the cables and... Um, you get a little bit closer to the details, you start to see like these wispy artifacts. You see that that's 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 going to be an any Gaussian splat, and you can see that I, I kind of flew uh, an arc around this thing it was uh, full circle pretty much at 4K, and it downsampled the imagery by default to quarter scale. So uh, I think we lost some detail in general, and I bet you this would be better, and the one I'm going to show you next would be better at full resolution. But um, it does a pretty good job. It got some good details on these trucks, these cars, um, the boat itself. There's all these little fine details that it does an okay job at. Uh, and I like this crane in the background on the water. It did a really good job at tracking that as you as you move around. But again, these details aren't aren't crazy. I think like the, it's all kind of fuzzy. And I'm guessing that's because it downscaled the imagery. That's what I'm guessing. Um, I'd be interested to see when I run this as default with Splat Facto Big, does it manage to like upscale it or get more detail pulled out of that quarter scale? Um, but in general, I, I I think this is a good result. Um, and we'll see how it does compare to, against Splat Facto Big. But um, as this is a pretty cool scene. And I actually did a really good jo job of these background buildings, as you will see in both these results as well. Um, but yeah, not wowed by these results, but also like, we'll see if it does better. I did notice it did a good job at this cable coming running down here. This is like a really fine cable and it manages to do that really good. And there is like these random kind of splats that get in the way as you move around. But uh, anyways, like I said, we're going to jump into Splat Facto Big now and we're going to see if there's a noticeable like, wow, that looks so much better difference. All right. So here's Splat Facto Big. This is the big model. So it's supposed to be better. It took 30 percent longer. This one took like 15 or 16 minutes to train as opposed to uh, about 10, 11 minutes. I didn't track it too closely. I also didn't track my VRAM too closely. But both of them, again, ran on the same like quarter scaled imagery which isn't the best, but what you would expect if you just ran anything on default. Um, the details I'm getting here, I'm not like seeing this going, wow, but what I am seeing is this spiky, spiky sky that I didn't see in the normal Splat Facto, which I think is interesting. But I do know that there's some variables I can change, I can modify my training that aren't just like the standard training that should, uh, should reduce those, which I'll have to explore further. But um, just looking at this again, like these cables, they all kind of look the same. If anything, I'm wondering if the cables here look worse. I, 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 no, there's nothing here that I'm like, wow, this is amazing to wait the extra five, six minutes to train. Um, to me, it almost looks like looking at the same, the same rendering. I am going to uh, show my training cams here and just jump to one. So we're kind of looking at a reference. So this is about what you got from the camera when it was rendered. Um, I don't know. Uh, one thing I will look at too while we're at it is I, I do want to look at the depth mode. Let's just look at the depth. Um, I think I can split screen this, but it did a pretty cool job 
estimating the depth. I always think that's an interesting thing. And you can see like it got these cables pretty good. Um, and, and I'm very impressed with this. So let me just turn that back off, but it's just something I always like to look at as well to see if there's any like, did it randomly project something really far in the background or not? Um, so overall, uh, I think we're gonna have to see the rendering. I'm gonna show you at the end back to back, like A, B split to see if one is better or the worse, if there's anything noticeable that we didn't see, because it can be hard when you're just moving around. But in my opinion, if it's hard to pick out details while just doing what I'm doing here that are different, then there probably isn't a huge noticeable difference in general. So let's jump into those renderings and then you guys can decide which one is better, which one's more worth your time to explore. All right, thanks for watching this and let's check out the rendering. All right, well, there you have it. There's the comparison of the two. You saw the rendering of the videos. I just didn't see anything that was just like, oh my goodness, this is so much better. But I have lots of variables to play around with. And so don't discount the splat facto big at this point as being um, an option you shouldn't use. I just think that this is kind of my first test and I wanted to share this now so you could get an appreciation for running this as defaults. And I don't think any of these took a lot of RAM or a lot of training time. So I wouldn't expect it anything to be like blowing my mind. But um, here we go. If you like this video, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna start putting out more of this as well because people seem to need this content because there's not a lot out there. So subscribe, write a comment if you found this valuable and I'll see you in the next video.